Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to rig and animate a car using the Rig a Car add-on in Blender. If you want to animate cars but don't want to spend too much time on rigging, the Rig a Car could be helpful. It's a free add-on for Blender. First, let's download the add-on. I will share the download link in the video description. Go to the GitHub website and download the add-on in zip format. This add-on is available for free on GitHub for Blender 3.0, 2.9, and 2.83 versions. So let's download the Blender 3.0 version. Search for Blender's older versions on the web and download the 3.0 version for Windows or Mac. Once you've downloaded it, install Blender 3.0. Now, we need a car model. I made a tutorial on how to model a low-poly car in Blender. You can watch the tutorial from the link. Open the car model in Blender 3.0 version. I will share the download link in the video description. Let's install the Rig a Car add-on. Go to the Edit menu, Preferences, and go to the Add-ons tab. Click the Install button and browse the zip file we just downloaded. Install the add-on. Enable the Rig a Car add-on. All right. First of all, we need to prepare the model for the rigging process. Rig a car expects your model to be oriented along the negative Y axis with the wheels resting on the grid floor. Press numpad 1 to switch to the front view. The front of your model should align with the front view in Blender. If that's not the case, you should rotate your model to match this orientation. Select the model, press Ctrl A key, and apply scale and rotation transformations. Now let's separate the wheels and the car body. Hit the Tab key to switch to Edit Mode. Go over any wheel and hit the L key to select Linked. Hit the P key and separate the selection. In the same way, select the other wheels and separate them into the new object. Hit the Tab key to Back to Object Mode. Now you can select the body and wheels separately. Select any wheel and hit the R key to rotate. As you can see, the origin of the wheels is not centered. Right-click, set origin, and origin to geometry. That's it. In the same way, set the origin of the other wheels to geometry. Rig a car can identify reference objects based on their names. Reference objects are used for the body, wheels, and brake discs in your model. The names of these reference objects should be suffixed according to the rules described in the table. I will share this documentation in the video description. First, let's give the car a name. Select the car body, go to the Outliner Editor, and rename it as you wish. Name matching is case insensitive, and you can use dots, spaces, dashes, or underscores as separators. I will use dashes as separators. After the dash, we need to add the body suffix. Select the front left wheel and rename it based on the table. In the same way, rename the other wheels based on the table. In this example, I don't have wheel brakes, so I will skip that step. All right, we are ready to add the deformation rig. Hit the A key to select all parts of the car. Press Shift A, Armature, and add Car Deformation Rig. Press the Z key to switch to wireframe mode. As you can see, the deformation rig has been added at the origin point of each part. After adding the deformation rig, you can now generate the complete rig. Press N key to open the right panel. Go to the Rig A Car tab. With the deformation rig selected, click the Generate button. That's it. Switch back to solid mode. Let's check if the control rig works. Select the blue root widget, hit the G key, and move the car around. You can animate the car's location this way. Select the green steering widget. This way, you can control the steering wheel and steer the vehicle. 
select the yellow suspension widget, so you can control the suspension of the car. The red widgets are ground sensors. They allow the wheels to snap to the ground. All right. Let's make a simple car animation using the control rig. Switch to object mode. Press numpad 7 to switch to the top view. Press shift A, curve, and add a path. Switch to edit mode. Rotate the path 90 degrees. Go to the viewport overlays menu and enable the curve normals. So you can see the path direction. Select the last control point, hit the E key, and extrude the path as you wish. Click the Curve Properties tab and increase the curve resolution value. That allows the car to follow the curve smoothly. Go back to Object Mode. Select the car rig and switch to the Pose Mode. Go to the Bone Constraint tab, select the Root Bone, and add a Follow Path Constraint. Select the path as the target. Switch the forward axis to the negative Y axis. Enable the fixed position and follow curve options. When you slide the offset factor value from 0 to 1, the car follows the path from start to finish. Let's animate the offset factor. Set the offset factor to 0 and go to the first frame in the timeline. Click the little dot next to the offset factor to add a keyframe. Go to the frame 100. Set the offset factor to 1 and add another keyframe. When you play the animation, the car follows the path. However, the car begins its movement by accelerating, then slows down and comes to a stop. To fix this, go over the timeline, select keyframes, hit the T key, and set the keyframe interpolation to linear. That's it. To slow down the car, select the last keyframe and drag it to the right. As you may have noticed, the wheels don't rotate or steer. To do that, click the Bake Car Steering button so it will generate steering animation based on the root bone animation. To rotate the wheels, click the Bake Wheels Rotation button. That's it. All right, let's add a bumped road and test the suspension rig. Switch to object mode. Add a plane. Switch to edit mode. S key to scale up on the Y axis. Press Ctrl R to add loop cuts. Go back to object mode. Click the modifier tab and add a wave modifier. Disable the X axis. Set the wave height to 0.2. Set the start position to 4 meters on the Y axis. Right click and shade smooth. Apply the modifier. Add a curve deform modifier. Select the path as the curve object. Switch the deform axis to the negative Y axis. Slide the road on the Y-axis. Now, select the car rig and open the right panel. Open up the ground sensors panel. Select the plane as ground. Play the animation. That's it. You can also save your animation and Blender file and open it with Blender's newest versions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.